well, in the space of moving 100 metres, the light just vanished. Wow. Yeah, that was what you call fleeting light. The problem I had, as well as that, was the bank of trees just on the horizon, on the horizon, just 200 meters to the left of the camera, which just killed any color. Yeah, I got some color out on the top, left hand tips of the trees. The clouds that were over to the camera's left didn't really move across. Although there is a tiny bit of contrast in the sky now. Tiny bit of a few clouds to the left and a few clouds to the right. Sun is not officially set yet, so I'm going to wait. Now the question I keep asking myself is if if them trees over there are in the frame, does it spoil it? Does, it, does that spoil the photograph? Yeah, and the strange thing is, Michael Kenner's photograph from here, he's got them in. So if he can have them in, I can have them in. It just seems to spoil the isolation of that little copse of trees, there's some absolutely lovely clouds over there. So that's the clouds over the copse of trees I'm shooting at sunset. And that is the clouds to the left. If they were there, I would be extremely happy if they light up at sunset. I am going to weep. What an awesome formation of clouds that is. Cheers. So I've moved to the right of the tree, and as you can see, some lovely variations in colour in the field, which work quite well. The problem we've got is you've got that there, you've got them over there, you've got that there, you've got that there, you've got all these things that have been introduced. I did try going further over there, look at that light, but it simply didn't work. All these trees removed the isolation of the copse of trees so I'm just about to do a panorama. It will be somewhat unbalanced because you'll have these awesome clouds to the left and what you could characterise as a overcast, overcast clouds. Look at that pool of light going across there. Well, I'm just about done. Look, at, I'm going to stop doing that. Look at them, they are absolutely astounding clouds over there some of the best clouds I've seen in a long time such drama two minutes to sunset and there is actually some nice textures and colors forming over there so I'm gonna wind my neck in stop moaning and look on the positive side because it's getting better. Talk about uh, the highs and lows, swings and arrows of outrageous photography. Get on with it, Sheeda. Now you might not be able to hear me because of the wind. I ain't got time to grab my uh, mic, but holy crap, that came from literally nowhere. Absolutely astonishing. You know where I'm going? That's the tree. That's the sky. Anyway, I'm going to spend.